up YouTube, this is Galactic God, and I'm coming at you now with another one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Top 5. Now today's episode was inspired by a video that Shadow and Yusei did over up on his channel, so I'm going to have a link to that original video down in the description below. So if anyone is interested, I encourage you to please go check out that original video that he produced. But as for today, we're going to discuss my Top 5 Yu-Gi-Oh! decks of all time. Alright, so coming in at number 5 is Heraldic Beast. This is probably the newest archetype deck on the list, and upon its release I instantly gravitated towards it. One of the things that I really like about the deck is that it's got a lot of really great support cards for it. Not only do they have their own Monster Reborn, but they have their own Miracle Fusion as well. Plus it can utilize a lot of the Rank 4 Xyz, including one of my favorite Rank 4s, Lightning Chidori. Not a lot of decks can really duel with this card as it requires two wind monsters to make, but its effects can be quite devastating to just about any deck that it duels against. Plus, Heraldic Beast allows for a lot of graveyard manipulation. Many of the monsters get secondary effects once they've entered the grave. And although there's a lot of other support for this archetype over in the OCG, we have yet to receive it here in the TCG. But even that hasn't stopped me from dueling with this deck. If anything, it just gives me hope that one day this deck will be that much better. Coming in at number 4 is an oldie but goodie, Monarchs. This archetype was first introduced in the set Ancient Sanctuary many, 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 many moons ago with Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, and although he is not really quite used as much as he once was, the archetype still lives on and thrives quite well. With the release of the new support card, the Monarch Stormforth, the archetype just seems to be evolving and getting better and better with each new set. Coming in at number 3 is Crystal Beast. Although this deck has never been competitive, it is extremely fun to play and I often find myself utilizing it. Crystal Beast has an interesting mechanic to it that is unlike just about any other engine in Yu-Gi-Oh! And ever since the archetype was first released in Force of the Breaker, I've been enamored with the deck and dueling with it since then. Now I might not have won every game I dueled with it, but I definitely always had fun. Coming in at number 2 is Heroes. This archetype, of course, is used by the main character in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime series, Jaden, and was first released in the Lost Millennium set. One of the things that I really like about Heroes is that they always seem to evolve and adapt to whatever meta they're in. Even with the loss of Stratos in the last few formats, Hero players still strive forth and try to come up with new creative ways to use the deck. Whether they be Mass Hero or Hero Gate variants, Hero players will not be deterred and with the hope that one day Stratos will make it off of the Forbidden list, and the new support that was recently released in the OCG, in my opinion, heroes aren't going anywhere. Coming in at number one is, of course, Synchrons. This archetype is used by the main character of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D series, Yusei, and has been sporadically released over the years, starting with the set, The Duelist Genesis. There have been a ton of different variations of Synchrons used throughout the years, whether they be Junk Doppel, Hangu Plants, Quasar Express, or just straight up Synchron. And although it hasn't been able to keep up with every deck in every format, I have always found the archetype to be the most fun to duel with. With its ability to make huge Synchro plays by Synchro climbing upon each other or just drawing a ton of cards off of TG Hyper Librarian and Formula Synchron, to dropping big huge monsters such as Shooting Star Dragon, Trishula, or even Shooting Quasar Dragon, the deck will always probably remain as my favorite archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright YouTube, and there you have it. Those were my top 5 Yu-Gi-Oh! decks of all time. In the comment section below, remember to let me know what your top 5 decks are and why. And I guess that's it for now. This is Galactic God, out. <laughs>